Hello friends, welcome to the new video series where we will show you manual implementations of basics image processing commands. Today I will show you how to plot histogram of an image manually. Let me first explain you what is histogram. Histogram shows the count of intensity values. Suppose you can see here the intensity of the where the cursor is. Here is some white pixels. You can see the intensity value is higher to 218 which means it is near to 255 white pixel so, and there are number of pixels with same values which is shown in the histogram suppose this is 134 uh, gray value which is repeated 412 times throughout the image so the plotting of all unique values and its count to the image is called histogram okay now you know what is histogram of an image. RGB image will have three histograms, one per channel, while grayscale image will have one histogram. Now I will show you the implementation of plotting histogram of a grayscale image in MATLAB. For Python, refer to the other video. I will explain two algorithms for this task. This is the first one. In this method, you will check value of intensity of gray level at every pixel and add 1 to the count of value ranging from 0 to 255 for 8-bit image resolution. So let's see. This is the template I will use for this video. Okay, so first we will read the image. We will use the inbuilt cameraman image. Let me show you the image. This is the image of which histogram I will plot. Let me show you the histogram from inbuilt command. This is how the histogram of this image looks like. Now we will plot this by the manual code. Okay. We will define the size and bit depth of image. You can see here it is in U integer 8. It means bit depth of the image is 8. Okay, the size of the image. We will get by inbuilt command. Let us just print the size and check what is the size. If it is visible here, it is 256 cross 256. See, we got the size. Okay, now we will create empty area. Now, our bit depth is 8. It means there will be 0 to 255 total values in the, the grayscale image. So, MATLAB starts with 1 indexing. The indexing of MATLAB starts from 1. So, we will create a blank array. of 256 rows in one column or you can do vice versa so we will have a row one row and 256 columns okay let me show you how this array looks this is how the array looks our blank array it ranges from 0 to 256 as an index and count this is the count value which we will add further okay let's start okay now we will scan for each pixel so we will use two for loops one in other we have generalized the code by using size of one so which means it will go till this 256. If an image is of different size, then by defining the size and using the size variable, we can generalize the code. We will create a variable named temp, which means temporary, and it will get the value of image at this row and column, like this. Okay. Now suppose 
if uh, or i is 2 and j is 3 so i m of i j will be 157 so now what we will do we will add 1 on the 157th index but as i said matlab starts from 1 so we will add account 1 at 158th index so first we will read the value of 158th index and then we will add 1 to that which means so this was 157 so we will read 158th value we are setting 158 value. What we will set? We will read current value. This is the current value, and this is the count one we will add. So after this, I'm just trying to convey. We will see that on 158 there is one. It means that 157 has now count 1. We will repeat this process. For every pixel and our work is done. Let me just find this much and show you. See now we have got the values. This 1 indicates 0. So it's 8. It means the 7th Resolution means the gray value 7 has 4 times in this image. It means the 7 is 4 times in image. Okay, now we will plot it. It is very easy to plot. We will just use the bar command to plot it. Let's see. This is the histogram, histogram we have manually plotted. And let me compare it uh, with the inbuilt. This is the inbuilt one, this is the way you created. The only difference is this color map. Otherwise, we have achieved the same results. Now you must be wondering why you not used the bit of actually we can use the bit of here. Here we will use 2 as 2 bit depth minus 1 because 256 is actually 2 as 8 minus 1. So that is the point. And here also we will go to 0 to 2 as 5. Right. So now this code is generalized. We only need to change the bit depth and read the different image size is also generalized now i will show you the second algorithm in this method we will find unique values in the image and then count them to plot our histogram here we have used two for loops one in another which takes a little more time in the second algorithm we will try to reduce the time complexity so we will read the image same as before size I'm naming VDS bit that which is 8 ok now we will find the number of unique values so let me show you the usage of that command suppose we have 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5 so we will use unique of answer so we will have 1 2, 3, 4, and 5. This 2 times 1, 2 times 4, and it will be the number of unique values. So, find this unique values from the image. So now we have the unique values. Now we will find the size of unique values to know actually how many unique values we have. So, we will use SU, size of unique values, which is equals to size of u comma 1 comma 1 indicates that see these are 5 so it is 1 comma 5 
So we'll use comma two because we want the number of columns in this answer. Okay. Now we will find for every link values and find its number. How many unique values are there? Means if there is a unique value one, then we will find how many ones are there at a time and add to its count. Okay. We'll also create an empty array, same as before. Okay, we will search for our unique values. So, uh, we know that there are as you number of uh, unique values. So, we will use for loop for that. Then okay, we will find there is a find command. Let me show you. So, this is our array. Then we will use find l equal to equal to 1. It returns 1 and 2 means at position 1 and at position 2 we have L. Now let me specify here two variables A and B. Now let's see what this A and B comes out. See A is 1 1 and B is 1 2. It means these are the locations and these are the values. It's okay. We will name it as temp variable, temporary variable. We will find a unique value. So, uh, u of k means the first unique value equals or equal to i m. So, it will list all the unique values in i m. Now, we will find the size of that. Now, let's see how this works. See, now, let's see unique values. We have 247 unique values. Right? And its size is 247 plus 1. So, in the finding size, we have to use here 1 because it is a column vector. Okay. Now, let's see how this temporary answer comes. Okay, we have to use small k here. And let me use as of now k equal to 2. Now, you can see the temp. There are 43 times u of 2. What is u of 2? Let's find out. 8. So, there is 423 times 8 in the image and these are the locations of that. So, we will find number, how many times it is, size of temporary variable, comma 1. So, number of rows in the temporary variable, which is here 423, is the number of times for 8 has, 8 has came. So, we will add this number variable at the ninth position, which means see this was our eight u of two, and this is the ninth position. So now we will add directly this because we know what it is, and we will end this loop, and we are done. Let me just test it, and there is our variable history. The same as previous answer. Let us plot the same way we have plotted this. And you can see the results. You can also create such function which takes image and bit path as input and calculates the histogram. Let me show you how it works. First, let me read the image. Okay, its uh, bit depth is 8. So we'll pass this to this function. Function name is hist. So it's histogram with G capital and H capital image and bit depth. Okay. See, it uh, results both the things by inbuilt function and by our manual function. This is the histogram of the image. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel for more interesting videos. Also, don't forget to check the description for the code. For any queries, feel free to use the comment section. Thank you.